Hi YouTube, I'm Sergeant Moore. I'm in the United States Army. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the Army do's and don'ts. Um, focus on what you can and can't do in uniform. This is for anybody in the, um, in the Army, whether you've been in a while, a little bit longer, or you're just coming in, or you're thinking about coming in. Um, I've been in the Army now for six years, so I've been to Iraq, Kuwait, several other duty stations. So I've been in long enough to kind of see how things are done, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, and what you're going to get away with. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about is the hair. You know, everything that has to do with how you look and the wear of the uniform, anything is going to be covered in AR670-1, which is the wear and appearance of military uniform and the insignia. Okay, so when we show up at PT, you know, you just put your hair back in a nice little bun. And simple put. Just make sure it doesn't hang below your collar and that's it. If you want to keep your hair cut short, keep it cut short. That's fine. Now, it's always this little miscommunication about the female's hair. Meaning, if I have it short and curled under, like, it only needs to go right at below the edge of the collar. That's the edge of the collar, the bottom edge. So some people think that, preferably the guys, no offense to them, they think that if it touches the collar, then it's out of regulation. No, it's the bottom edge of the collar. All right. Um, you just got to make sure it's not it's eccentric in nature. And when AR670-1 talks of the word eccentric, it just means that is it something strange. You know, as long as it's not strange, it's not faddish, too trendy, you can get away with it. Now, everything is always at the discretion of your leaders. It says that all over AR670-1, especially in that section. It's up to your leaders to pass good judgment of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Okay, you know, if you're going to wear a simple bob, then that's fine. Part it on the side, part it down the middle, however you want to. Curl it, wear it straight, it doesn't matter. You know, the bun, slick it back, you know, find some jam or some gel, you know, lay it down so that when you're removing your headgear on and off, you know, it's not flying everywhere. Find what works best for you. Um... Moving along, that's the hair. Um, now, if you want to wear it shortcut, you can wear it shortcut. And I know some people use the little hot curlers to make it kind of stick up a little bit. Watch that. You don't want it to be sticking up too high and make it really, really faddish. You know, keep it at a, at a, at a good, you know, good judgment. Um, you always remember, you know, wear it nice and simple for work and have fun with it off duty. All right. Next thing, um going to move on to what am I going to do with my face. Um, for years in the military, I used to always wash my face and put some moisturizer on it and go. just happened. And then when I first came in, I did 15-month deployment, so it was kind of like wash and go. Um, now that I've been in a little bit longer, um, the longer you've been in, the more confidence you build to be able to know what you can and what you can't do. Um, now I pretty much wear, you know, a little bit of makeup to work a, a good, more, good majority of the time. Um, I found that with putting on makeup, you know, it makes you feel a little bit more like a woman. It, it really does because being in the Army, it, it's a man's world. Um, you want to do as much training as them. You want to be as high speed as them. You know, you want to go airborne, aerosol. You know, you want to do all that. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a good feeling to know that, oh, hey, when I'm in uniform, I can wear my airborne wings, but, hey, I'm still a female. And that's a wonderful thing. Embrace it, you know, because that's, that's what you are. So put on a little foundation if you want to. Um, I'm not going to say what's too much, what's too little, because by me being a dark-skinned woman, my foundation is going to appear to be a little bit darker, maybe even a little bit heavier because I am dark. So I wear my foundation, and if I don't feel like putting on foundation, I might just put on a little bit of tinted moisturizer. You know, it kind of depends on what I'm doing that day, too. Now, if I'm going to the range, I might not wear any makeup at all because, number one, I'm not going to be washing my Kevlar straps that much, so I don't even want to be dealing with all that dirtiness. Um, and then, of course, you'll have to wash your patrol cap or your beret more often, but if you want to kind of deviate from having a thick makeup line, right here, you know, put a little strip of tape under there and, you know, exchange the tape. That'll keep the, the, the sweat and the dirt and the makeup from getting into your cap. Um, that's just a little helpful hint. Now, when you're going to wear makeup, you want to make sure that it's tasteful and, once again, not eccentric and not faddish. So you're going to want to stick to some colors that complement your skin. You don't want anything that's going to go against your skin tone. So me, 
I'm a dark sister, so I try to keep away from too bold colors. You know, so I just wear stuff like this in uniform. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, okay, a little, little drop in here. You know, I got like browns, a little gold, and I got a highlighted piece in my, in my rouge. I keep it simple. And I like the uh, Mary Kay um, colors because they do a lot. If I don't put on primer with it, then the colors are going a little bit lighter and sink in a little bit more. But I know when I put my primer on, I know my colors are going to show up a little bolder, but I can still get away with it. So um, I don't really use any other type of makeup products or cosmetics besides Mary Kay, so that's about as best um, I can tell you about those. They have a nice little shimmer to it, and it's good to go. Um, it's okay to wear eyeliner, it's okay to wear mascara, but keep it tasteful. You know, like right now, my face is actually made up. Um, I went to work today, but it's our week all week, so we got to wear civilian clothes. But this is a look that I can wear in my uniform. It's simple, and, you know, the purpose of foundation and makeup and all that, it's just to extenuate your beauty. You know, that's, that's all. Now, um, lip color. You don't want to wear any bold reds, purples, greens, anything like that. You still want your lips to be tasteful. So you can stick to some, you know, neutral colors. Now, um, I got some, like, lipstick here. You know, like little browns and stuff like that. I um, hope you can see it. Like, that works. And I usually, when I wear my lipstick anyways on a day-to-day -day basis, I always put, like, um, a little bit of a lip gloss on it, you know. Um, now, this is a little bit bolder color. It's a uh, kind of a reddish color, but, you know, you can get away with it because the Mary Kay uh, lip glosses are not strong color. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. So you can get away with these. You know, these these are all, all really good. Okay. All right. So that takes care of that. Um, now, next, I'm going to go on to how you're going to do your nails. You know, right now, I usually don't wear nails because I do, like, a lot of hair. So, um... I went to a show, a Kevin Hart show, so I decided to get them done. But usually I just wear simple colors. Like these are some colors that I have in my own personal bag that, I, that I've worn in uniform. Like this has a little bit of shimmer to it, but actually when it goes on, it goes on nice, uh, nice, nice shimmer, clear kind of tint to it. I don't want to be misleading. This is actually just, as the bottle says, French manicure. That little clear reddish color that you get when you get a, a, a French manicure, you can put that on the whole nail. You know, you want to stay away from colors like this. No, that's a no-go. This right here, this is a no-go. You don't want anything that's going to um, take away from you. You want something that is going to go and blend, you know, with, with, your, with your complexion. You know, you want it to be nice and simple. Um, and that's, you know, that's how the nails go. Now, of course, they're going to only be about a fourth of an inch away from the tip of the nail. That's how they are supposed to be. Um, as of right now, this is all into play. Um... Uh, I almost forgot one thing about the hair. Okay, colors. By all means, if you want to color your hair, color your hair. But make sure that it's of a natural hair color. Make sure that it's not fire engine red. Then that's pretty much verbatim from the regulation. Fire engine red, purples, greens, and all that. You know, keep it, keep it at a good at a good tone. Something that's natural. Natural meaning natural for your complexion. You know, things that match you. Um, not necessarily if you're Caucasian, African American, Latino, whatever. Just make sure it, it, it's a good it's a good fit. And like with anything, it's going to be at the discretion of your chain of command. Um, that pretty much covers glam in your uniform. Here um, soon, I will post how to videos and tutorials on pretty much me getting ready in the morning f fairly quickly because you know we only get an hour and a half. But that pretty much covers what you can and can't do for is the glam. Um, that just covers military for, for for the Army. I can't talk about Air Force because, to be honest with you, I'm stationed here in Alaska, and the Air Force girls, they can wear a lot more. They can wear earrings. They get to be more glamorous. But this is how you get ready for the duty uniform. Now, in your service uniform, when you go on the ball and stuff like that, you can do a little bit more with your hair because you don't have to wear your headgear, and you can wear earrings. But this is pretty much um, a day-to-day -day how you would take care of yourself for as being glammed in uniform. If you have any questions for me, please um, write me a little note here at the bottom, and I'll, I'll get back with you and answer. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, I have a blog, www.combat.com.
twostilettos.com. You can chit chat with me on there. You can keep up with me about what's going on in the military world, fashion, and all of that. All right, YouTube, y'all have a good afternoon, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.